Hello, I just wanted to offer you some tips and tricks for this week's assignment. The pop art project is what I'm going to be focusing on for this video. Remember, there's always two assignments to turn in each week in my class. The practice where you come up with your ideas, that is to be done and turned in before getting into this page where you start working on the art project. I had shown you in a different video how I came up with a couple different ideas versus from for coming up with the uh, different types of designs for the background versus my actual pop art image, which means something that's very easily recognizable to most people. So I picked something like that. I decided to do a call out from my background. And basically it's a shape like this. If I scroll down here, you'll see that I'm looking for bright colors, lines and patterns of shapes and different lines on there as well. So you have some example ideas here. Go ahead and use one of those. If you're not sure what else to do, I also have opposite colors because it's really important to catch our eye, the viewer's uh, eye, when we're looking at the object. I decided to also, so I did that first. That's the very first thing. So your project should have a total of two parts to it. The background on a separate sheet of paper from your pop art image. I chose a pizza from my pop art image. And I also decided to make it really bright because that's a part of what I'm looking for in this project. I decided to use two opposite colors rather than use the traditional type of colors for a pizza. I decided to make opposite colors that will make it really bright and stand out a lot more. I'm using a couple of techniques that I wanted you to apply to your project. I'm using color pencil as well as some markers and highlighters. Highlighters will really help you bring it out a lot more. And that's what the point of what pop art is really, 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 really bright. And so we're, I'm trying to do the outlining technique right here, where I, I go on the very edge of the image that I had originally drawn. And I also have it on, started out the outlining of the cheese part of it as well. And then I'm just going to end up filling it in. But I need to make it more um, completely solid kind of color. So I want to make sure that I also can incorporate using a highlighter or a marker on top of my coloring. So you can use a couple of different art tools or materials for this to make it easier for yourself. It makes it easier to fill it in because I'm really looking for a completely filled in background and a completely filled in art pop art image that you put on top of your background. So you can incorporate both and different types of art materials together. Now I'm going over this if you can see couple different directions for the some of the techniques of coloring to really try to fill that in. So here's a trick for you to make it easier for, for filling it in. You just make sure you go slowly around some of the other parts if you had something similar to this. So I still have yet to finish coloring this all in to make it all flat and solid. And then I will end up cutting around the very, very edge of my image and then I'll be putting that on top of my background that I decided to create for it. So two separate parts to this assignment. Another alternative trip is to, for the background, instead of drawing it all out, you could also, if you have some bright colored pe paper sitting around, you could also do basic callouts. And what I did for that was I folded a piece of paper, I did some triangle shapes, and I cut out those and then you open it up it should come up pretty symmetrical which means even on both sides and then i also i didn't glue this down yet as you can see but what i would do for this is i have a total of three different pieces of paper and then i will glue it out glue it down the way i want it to come out and then i also incorporate some different um repeated patterns of lines in there as well so i have my shapes and lines already done not too much to do for that so there's another hint and trick if you want to do it that way. As long as you have a background completely filled in, bright colors and uh, repeated patterns of shapes and lines, then there you go. I have some examples on here as well. And then some explanation of what type of coloring techniques and different colors that I'd like you to try. So project examples are on the bottom here, some done by students, some done by professionals and also other artists. So that any of these would also work. So go ahead and make sure that you have an idea of what you want to do. You'll notice that all of these are very similar in terms of very bright colors. So please completely fill your page with very bright colors and just have a lot of fun.